Ocho Cinco staying in shape, sparring with former welterweight champ Kevin Kelly, a former co-host of former Boxing After Dark host, Fran Charles, who we send into the gym for this exclusive chat with Cincy's Wrecking Machine. Give me the idea, the theory behind you training in boxing to get ready for football. How's that going to help in the football field? Really trying to really implement some of the things that boxing does and implies and really add them to my game of football. Really, I really thought of really pushing envelope this year, and I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Give me a couple of specifics as to what you are learning training for boxing that's going to help you specifically on the football field. For one, the hand-eye coordination. You know, it, it's helped with my quickness, you know, my lateral movement, no false stepping. There's no false stepping that is, that is allowed in boxing. I can't wait to, to use it on the field. You know, I know I haven't been in, in Cincinnati. You know, it's been a sort of a, a, a thing that stuck out, but I think I uh, not only owe Cincinnati, but, you know, my coaches, my players, my teammates, all my fans to really get myself back in in rare form before I even touched the field again because last year was very humbling for me. It was an embarrassment, not to my, just not just myself, but you know, us as a city and the team, you know, to, to play that way. So before I even go back, I want to be in just unbelievable form before I even touch the green grass. So what you're saying is you are not in Cincinnati and have not been in Cincinnati, not because you're protesting your contractual situation or anything like that. You wanted to rededicate yourself. I had to. I basically went out and went back to square one. You know, 1997 to 99, I was hungry. That got, got a little too easy for me. I stopped. I wouldn't say I stopped working hard, but I knew that hunger, it wasn't there like it used to be. Right now, that hunger's back. I mean, it's, it's back 10 times worse than it was before I even got to the league, you know? And uh, last year was very humbling for me, man. And, and when I get back, words cannot describe the type of shape I'm in right now. Words can't describe the type of season I'm going to have. I'm telling you ahead of time. You know, it's not too many times I say something and I lead you wrong. Have you talked to head coach Marvin Lewis? Does he know that this is what you're doing? Why, why not? Why not talk to Marvin and just let him know? There's no need to talk to anybody right now. I'm in isolation, period. Nobody has a clue because I'm not in Cincinnati. I'm sure a lot of people in Cincinnati think I really wasn't doing that. You'll see the results for the work I'm putting in right now. My Pro Bowls, my stats, my great seasons that Carson and I have had were not made during the season. Those Pro Bowls are made right now in the offseason. You know, that, that season Carson and I are going to have this year is being made right now. Will you appear as a mini camp and yeah, also I'm training already, camp? I'm already there. I'm there in spirit. I'm there in spirit. Will you be there physically of at course. the medicat? Yeah, of course. Why not? Why not go and show off the product? Why not? Why not leave my coach's mouth wide open? So you feel like you have something to prove, not only to your teammates, to the yeah. fans, yeah. city Cincinnati, but more, most importantly to yourself. I ended up with 550 yards. 550 yards should be three weeks worth of work in the course of a season for myself. Ain't no excuses for what happened last year at all. If I had no legs, I'd still get open. Do you want to take this boxing to a different level? Could we actually see you in the ring one day? Yeah, I'm going to take it to another level. I'm not sure how to, the little stipulations about fighting and whatnot, you know, how it goes, you know, with as far as the contract. And no concerns about physically getting hurt while you're... You got to hit me to hurt me. Boxing training. You got to hit me to hurt me. The same concept goes in how I feel when I touch the field. I can't be stopped. What some people call cocky, arrogant. I call it confidence, you know, because I work on my craft to be able to say some of the things I say. You know, same thing in boxing. I'm working at a certain tempo to where I feel like if you can hit me, it's my fault.